Look within. Look within. Look within. And live your life. And live your life on the edge of two worlds. A reality where you find true understanding of who you are. Take the step into the unknown with Alexander McCaig and Jason Rigby as they explore the thinly veiled world of consciousness, spirit, and the human condition. Join them in embodying the oneness of all. Walk the cliff's edge between the seen and the unseen realities. Welcome to High Density Living. Welcome back, friends, to another episode of Higher Density Living with your hosts, Alexander and Jason Rigby. Jason, what are we following up this week on? Well, last week we talked about crystals and we got into the science of them. Ooh. And can you give a synopsis real quick of crystals science? Yeah, a little Bill Nye synopsis. Yes, yes. You know, he does a quick yeah. walkthrough. Without yes. the crazy hair. So the, our general theme was that everything in this world is crystal, including yourself, the cameras that you use, everything comes from a crystal base. And we talked about how it went all the way back to the career of a gentleman named Marcel Vogel at IBM who did 27 years of research designing floppy disks and storage systems using liquid crystal and how he found out that crystals could receive, store, and transmit information. Mm. Okay? And then we ran on that basis that crystals being alive, being a part of this mineral kingdom that grow from a seed at a much slower pace – can store our conscious thoughts. And this is all things that they recognized at IBM, right? And so that we applied that and we showed how every part of you, depending on the geometry of your body and the minerals that make you up and your cellular biology, are all crystalline dependent. You are one giant walking crystal on a crystal sphere. And that's how they made the floppy disk and the hard drive. Exactly. That guy right? did that. At and IBM. that's how you use your semiconductors, of your screens on your phone, everything LCD, is off of that basis. liquid crystal display. That's correct, right? And the every- watch has, the Swiss watch has a... A quartz, quartz crystal inside to yes. keep its time properly. You know, your body requires a whole bunch of water, which is a liquid crystal. Salt. Salt is also a crystal, right? And so we went over all that stuff. So last week, that's what we were focusing on. We were focusing on the science to show you that what you didn't think was true right. is that crystals are a living thing. And to say they're not is to call yourself the walking dead. And this is not <laughs> the AMC series. You are literally a walking crystal. Your bones are calcium, mineral kingdom. Right. Which is, again, a lattice structure, which your bones are crystal, Mm -hmm. your muscles, the Mm -hmm. water within them. Every part of the mineral and biology of yourself is one big old crystal. In the earth. Right. And the most important part is that your conscious thoughts, what you think, can be stored inside crystals. They can change the vibrational frequency. Proven. Proven, scientifically, and the quality of our thought will determine how strong that crystal will then re-emit that thought. So this episode... I want to be a little bit more practical. Yeah. And I I figured we would start, I think the easiest for people to understand, because we all know we need water. Yeah. Everything is water. The planet's water. We're water. We have the same ratio of water to almost like physical mass that the Earth does. We match it perfectly. So we have a rainbow that we see in the sky. Yeah. How is that related to a crystal? Interesting. So if we take... A regular prism, right? An optical prism is what they call it in physics. And if you take a beam of nice white light and you put it through that prism, the angle of diffraction, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So how the light interacts with that medium, that substance, that physical body, then re-emits that light, that white light broken up into different spectrums, right? Roy G. Biff. Right. It gives you your rainbow. So as white light goes through a crystal... Mm-hmm. It emits a rainbow. So practical. In perfect coherence. White light. White light. Goes through us as a crystal. We are the, from the sun, white right. light. Right. Go ahead. What happens then? It comes through us. Our mm-hmm. body is a medium, a physical substance. And then we re-emit. Right. Like a giant tuning fork. Okay. This light at a certain frequency. And light, depending on the frequency, determines the color. So... Let's say I'm extremely negative. Okay. I'm stressed and I worry all the time. Non-coherent. I'm eating fast food every day. You're erratic. And what am I emitting as a crystal? Muddled energy. So instead of emitting like a rainbow, Mm -hmm. you're emitting brown or too much of one color, right? It doesn't come out in that nice symmetry that you would typically find. Why? Because your thoughts are non-coherent. Your thoughts 
are not matching the vibration that you're receiving of that light, right? So then as one big walking crystal, we amplify energy. Mm -hmm. That's what crystals do. So we're a big walking crystal. We're amplifying the energy. We're amplifying it in a bad manner. We're amplifying it out of coherence. We're making it non-coherent. So if I have a family... Do you? Am, Do you have a family? Yes, I have a family. Good. Okay. <laughs> I thought I know this well, is I mean, hypothetical. I have, I, I have children. I'm single. But, okay. Yeah. Uh, for I mean, it's we're nationwide, right? Yeah. So all the ladies, all the ladies <laughs> listening, we're the guys. I don't know what you're into. <laughs> you have a girlfriend. Yeah, great woman. Yes. Yeah, I, great woman. Yeah, I want to make this. I want to make this like a national thing. <laughs> Amanda Strickland. You can find her on social media or What's LinkedIn. What's her Instagram? Do you? It, uh, uh, we need to look that up. Oh, I feel like a bad person. <laughs> Let's blow her Instagram up. Yeah. <laughs> A.L. Awesome. Strickland or something like that. Man. So it's Amanda Strickland. Good woman. The fact that she puts up with me and deals with me right. is phenomenal. But you can go to your followers yeah. on Tartle.co. Big time. And then type in Amanda. Yeah. And then follow her. I That's think that would be got. awesome. Everybody needs to do that. Everybody's got to go follow Amanda. <laughs> That's what's important, all right? Tartle.co. Do, do, do your dogs have an Instagram? Higher density dogs. <laughs> they are higher density dogs. No, that's what they are. We're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do like a little ten minute episode. A little dog episode. Yeah, and we're gonna talk about what dogs are thinking, how they operate at higher conscious, how they're connected to our consciousness. Mm -hmm. Right. I think that's gonna be an awesome one. Everything's connected. Okay, we're digressing. Yeah. So here we go. Water. J water. <laughs> Our body is emitting a frequency. Yes, we are. We're big walking crystals. Yes, we're big walking crystals. We have a family, let's say. Mm -hmm. We swung through the drive through We got our kids Ooh. shitty food. Okay. Um, we already got an argument with our husband on the phone. Oh, but that food, though. Hold on. That food yeah. is crystalline. Mm. Your food is a crystal. Don't forget that. Your food has minerals in it, does it not? So there's a crystalline compound inside your food. And what happens when you put two crystals together, right? Their frequencies intercept one another. So what about, let's say I walk up to a cow and I shoot it in the head. Mm, that's, that's, what yeah, that's really healthy energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I walk up to a cow, shoot in the head. <laughs> I butcher it. Oh, my gosh. I throw a big steak on the grill. Yum. I eat that steak. Mm. It's delicious. Amazing. Oh my God, I'm so happy for you. What, what happened with the crystals, the vibration? Does the cow have crystal? What, you bet it how does. How does all that go? Even You're it's blood, about food. everything about it, right? The entire crystal, the, the cow is a crystalline being too. So what have you done? You've come up. The first, the very first thing you did is you had the intention of killing the cow. No, you're like, hey, how are you, Bill? Or, no, no, it's no. not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's We're no like serial killers for f meat. <laughs> for meat. Right. And mm. that's, that's what you are. Right. So we're walking up and we're going to kill this cow. And it's not the fact to start off the, of shooting the cow. It's the thought of shooting the cow. Mm -hmm. So if the cow is a crystal, it's receiving the intense, the intention, the thought that you have of actually ending its life. Crystals store that energy, right? Like saving a file on a hard drive. Your consciousness, which IBM picked up on this stuff. Right. Okay. It stores your intent and your thought. It will always remember that. So the first thing you do is you're going to alter the state of the cow. You're going to end its life. Right. Without its choice. Right? That's already non-coherent energy. Not mm. good. Right. Okay? This is not a higher thought. This doesn't have a higher vibrational frequency to it. And they've measured good thoughts as opposed to bad thoughts. Right. Right? And its effect on So you things. could take, we talked earlier on that, and I hope everybody has to listen to the first one before they listen to this one. If you just jump into this one, it's going to be crazy. You're going to be like, what the hell is yeah, going yeah, on? Yeah, Shooting yeah, cows. Yeah, yeah. We're automatically. So if we put an oscilloscope Ooh. on a cow. Yeah. And then we put a scope on a person, and then we watched as we shoot that cow, because that's what we do. Or even the person. I mean, or we have somebody do it for or us. Or even but. if you shot the person. Yeah. It's going to alter the vibrational frequency. The pattern of coherence, though, this beautiful wave like you see in an ocean, right. is now going to look like a storm, like a hurricane's ripping through on the oscilloscope. It's going to be erratic and out of control, right? And that's bad energy. It's non-coherent energy. When cells don't have a coherent energy, they die. Mm. Okay, so if I'm going to go think about shooting this cow, it's registering the energy, and then I kill it. So now I've doubled down on negative energy, okay? Destroying this crystalline structure, this beautiful living being for some sort of purpose on my own, right? But beside that, the energy of that cow, the last point when it was alive, it was storing that last thought that you were going to kill it. So that's the vibration that it has. That's stored what it's stored in its inside. That fear, right? Mm -hmm. That being corralled in a corner so someone could put an air gun to its head and shoot it, it's stuck there, right? Mm. 
Right. That's fear. And then you're going to consume that. And you're going to consume it. So Because they've already talked about that. Um, and I don't want to get heavy into this because we did a food episode, but we'll get, we're going to get more into um, food, of yeah. course. Oh, I but have to, yeah. We've all, we know that the minute that a, that cow was shot, everything gets released, like all the chemicals that we put into it, the hormones and everything that gets released in the bloodstream. And then from there, Leviticus in the Bible talks about that um, – the life is in the blood. So in, in the Bible, no, it talks about, you know, like if if we studied blood sure. in, in all beings, we would see complete life. Yeah, of course. That is our life. Right. Blood is a liquid crystal. Mm. Your platelets have geometry to them. Okay. <laughs> That's what, This is where I was going. Yeah. So you have crystals flowing through crystals. Your entire body is crystal. So you have the, the disharmony mm-hmm. of killing this cow is now altering the crystalline structure of what you're going to intake. Now, what happens when you put two frequencies together? They either net themselves out or the energy becomes muddled and non-coherent. So if I'm ingesting something that I killed that had the intent and the action of a bad thing that happened to it, it is changing the internal frequency of my crystalline structure when I'm ingesting it. The vibrational frequency of what makes me healthy, what makes my cells healthy, that Schumann resonance I share with the Earth, is now out of equilibrium. But we could say the same thing. I mean, pan, uh, plants and trees and all that have, I'm going to play devil's advocate. They have a conscious and, and they're a being. Um, so why would, if I ingest spinach, I had a spinach smoothie before I got here. Right. So I threw carrots in there. I threw spinach in there. Um, I threw some uh, organic pears in there, mm-hmm. um, some strawberries. Yep. So I did that. Um, and I drank some oat milk. I yep. put oat milk in there. So. What is, what's the difference? Because th- all those things died too, right? Yeah, they do die, right? Um, so people are going to be like, well, what's your basis for backing this up? The guy who created the polygraph mm-hmm. found that your intention with plants is different your, when your intention with animals, right? And he found that, that plants have the ability to think and feel. This is the guy who created the polygraph, the test that determines whether or not Crystal's people lie. The guy- that created all our computers, our LCD screens, our yeah. cell phones, all that, IBM, scientists. Now we're going to the guy that created polygraph. The polygraph, right? right? And he had the wild idea, why don't I strap my polygraph to a plant leaf, right? And what he found is that the plant, when asked, when you ask it permission, okay, will willingly give itself up for you to ingest or cut or trim or prune or do whatever you want to it. But if you have the intent of harming that plant, it puts the natural bioelectric frequency of that plant out of sync, out of coherence, right? So when you ask me, well, what's the difference between a cow? Well, the plant responds to it. The cow is not responding to your language and your intent. The cow's life does not want to be ended. It would be the same as you killing your dog. Right. And what they found is... just be fearful and hide in the corner. The plant, as an extremely giving being, right, these things on the earth, are willing to give themselves up for your benefit. They're a very loving creature. That's what plants are. And it's shown through scientific record right. and study that the plants respond to that intention. And they are okay as long as you have the good intention that this is for a greater, higher good. Mm, I like that. So let's get back into water. Yeah, let's get back into water. And uh, we know, so water's a crystal. Water is a crystal. And there's been studies on water. Dr. Masaru Imoto. Right. And I hope and, I and, pronounce that right. I don't have any certifications in Japanese. Was he Japanese? Yeah. He was Japanese. Well, we can have people DM us, correct us. Yeah. What would be awesome is if we had somebody that was from Japan. Oh, my God. And they would voice record it exactly how it's supposed to be sound. And send and it over to us. And we would come back, yeah. Right. And I don't want to do it, but you can. You're better at languages right. than I am. And if you've worked with the guy, yeah. let us know. You yeah. know what I mean? That would be awesome. That yeah. would be super cool. But That'd go into cool. his study. Yeah. So Dr. Masato Rimoto realized that water, yes, it is a crystal, but what he found is that our thoughts, water receives our thoughts. Because we talked about in our our last week's episode that the crystal itself is receiving and storing and emitting information that we think. Mm -hmm. So if water is a crystal, it should be acting in the same function. Right. But what he did is he took the water as a crystal, and then he put certain conscious thoughts. So thinking about, I'm going to think good thoughts towards this water, or bad thoughts, right? Or I'm going to put certain sound towards it that this is going to alter the crystalline structure of the water when we freeze it. That the snowflake, right, the crystal that the water actually turns into, moving into ice, 
will have different forms of shape depending on the intention, the thought that we have towards that water. Mm. This is really interesting. So the quality of how this water freezes, it's beauty, right? It's luminance. It's ability to re-emit light in a beautiful geometric structure is determinant on how you think about that water, whether it's good thoughts, whether you're grateful for it, right? Whether you say thankful, whether you say thankful things like, thank you, I appreciate you, water. I know it sounds crazy at first, but when you look at the actual science, the photography, the filming that they did, the actual years of study before this gentleman had actually died, this is a proven thing that water responds to our conscious thoughts. Right, and, and water responds to affirmations. Big time. And so some of you get, that are out there, and we'll do a whole podcast on affirmations, um, but some of you that are out there thinking that those are hokey, they're actually good for you. They're good for you. And, yeah. and if we look at it from just a scientific base, if you have a positive affirmation, a higher thought that makes you feel better, right. that is, again, altering the frequency of every crystalline part of your body. Because you're storing those. You're storing it. So why wouldn't you do affirmation? Why wouldn't you do an affirmation, right? right? Why wouldn't you say these higher good things about yourself and others? Yes, and others, yeah. you're transmitting that energy. So water is like a crystal. So Water's it's crystal. storing these information. So right. on his study, he would take negative things. Right. And he would take positive things and he would put them into water. Yep. And then he'd watch, when he froze them into snowflakes, he would watch the formation. Of the crystals. Of what sacred geometry would be happening with them. Exactly. And what did he find? And what he found is that the highest, most loving forms, like the words of love, or classical music, or forgiveness, or thankfulness towards that water, right? Really appreciating the water for what it was, had the most beautiful geometric structures to it. But when you said bad things towards the water, right? It threw off its pH. It caused things to ferment improperly, right? It began to mold and create bacteria. And they found that the water was listening to the thoughts that we had. And that when you ingest that water, is going to change, the, determines the frequency of the water inside your body. So when you have a thought, right, and this is a practical application. I love this because so, some of the some of you out there have stopped praying. Let's yeah. use that word. Um, praying. Praying is an interesting one. For yeah, your food and for your water. Mm -hmm. But you should actually take the time. To thank it for what it is. Yes. Not because someone gave it to you or that it's on the table. Just thank it for being what it is. Not how it's been received or the labor that went into it. That's not important. Thank it for the fact that it is food for the ingestion of your sustenance, your life force, right? Mm, right. And do that with water. You know, we people have done it as a practice for food all the time, praying over the food. Why has no one prayed over the water? Mm, yeah, exactly. So if the water is a crystal. It's the same crystalline form. Yeah. It's the same crystalline form, right? So if the water is a crystal, my body's majority water, if my thoughts affect the water and how it's going to grow its crystals in a beautiful form. Right. My thoughts then, by pure, logical, reasonable, and scientific analysis, say that my body will be affected by the quality of thought that I am in. As That's simple crazy. as that. So you could literally, by taking a few seconds That's all to take your meal and thank the water that you're going to drink, you could change the whole outcome right. of what's happening in your body. And you may not see it immediately, right. but on a cellular level, your body understands that your genetic material your telomeres the strands of your dna the electrical coherence right <laughs> the charge yes. of your dna actually increases dramatically yeah i love that yeah. okay and that only happens with the intent of your thought so your consciousness which combines all of us across the globe right and this earth which is storing our thoughts and we store our own thoughts and we share and emit them and we think about our water all these things are interconnected so the quality of our life and who we do and how we act, walk, and talk is determined on the thoughts we have internally and how we view and judge our outside world. So question, if crystals are storing thoughts, mm -hmm. and we're storing thoughts, and we're 60, 80, 100 years old, sure. and some of these crystals are 10 million years old, 80 million years old, and they've been storing for that long. A long but time. Yet we think that we are all powerful at 60 years. Not a chance. Compare 60 years... To a hundred million years of memory. <laughs> you know what I mean? Who's, Why would we not think that these things are amazing? Who has the wisdom then? Mm. You know what I yes. mean? And then your respect changes. Not only if you begin to look at yourself as a crystal, mm -hmm. right? But then how you look at food and how you look at the rest of the world and your thoughts because you realize that your frequency is changing, but it also changes the frequency of everyone else. Like, uh, uh, l let's say you're a leader. Yeah. In a corporation or a company. And you come in with... You just had, you just ran through the drive-thru real quick, had mm -hmm. really bad food, 
you didn't you you know you have no auction levels you have nothing right you're you're depleted on all around about you come in with the negative attitude your first employee walks in the door at eight in the morning and you go off on them uh, what have you just done rake this guy through the coals you've taken your massive amount of negative energy and then you've muddled and made his energy non-coherent his crystalline form has now been shocked with the, the, the energy, the poor energy and thoughts that you have had. Your intent has now been applied to that person. That's right? why it's so important in leadership, I think. And now you've doubled the negative thought. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because right. not only is your energy bad, now you've pushed off the intent and your poor energy onto this other crystalline structure, this other being, this other living person. And now they have to deal with energy. So now it's two times the bad amount of energy. But maybe you're a mom and you're just stressed out and you have really negative energy and you're teaching your children that because we learn teach. Teach your children from that. And they pick up on it more emotionally. Right. 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 They are more of a sensation being right now rather Mm -hmm. than a logical being. Right. And so for the mom, they're looking at it as like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm I'm mad and I'm taking out on the kids. Well, like, hold on a second. If I self-reflect on myself for a second and realize that if I change my own energy, it will have an, a change on the effect of the kids. And I'm blaming the kids for getting me upset because they're out of control in the car. They're throwing shit. I'm driving all over the right, road. Right, right. I'm frustrated. I'm, I'm cut short on time. Slow your mind down for a second and realize that your energy will propagate. It will it will come out of your body like a radio signal, and that will change the rest of the people in your group. Yes, because the mom is a leader. And and in her tribe, she can change that energy. And they resonate with yes. that. Yes. You know what I mean? they're just going to take her energy. If she's at a seven, they're just going to take an amplified to a 10. Right. And isn't it funny like how some people are attracted to certain areas? So mm-hmm. New York City, there's right. an energy to it, right? Yes. People are like, ooh, I like the energy in New York City. That's because it's actually resonating at a frequency. And some part about you and your thoughts inside your brain, it's coherent with that energy. So you actually want to be in that area because it matches with the wavelength that your crystalline structure is operating well, I, at. Well, I know for here in New Mexico, I mean, I was in Seattle, which is an amazing city. Yeah. But I, I love New Mexico because I love the sun. It's a different energy for you. Yeah. And I, what is it, 300 days <laughs> yeah, a year uh, sun here? It's crazy. And it's been fantastic. Yeah. and No th- vitamin D deficiency here. No, no, none here. And that's what I love. You know, it's like you can go out and you can feel the energy of the sun. Immediately. Yeah. Right? And then if you start to realize... <laughs> that it's emitting this light and you absorb this light into your crystalline structure, then something special is going on. So having, you know, this is interesting because you hear this from doctors and everybody else going out and having, you know, take your shirt off or whatever, especially if you're a lady. What doctors are you talking <laughs> about? Yeah. <laughs> Just take your clothes off. It'll be fine. <laughs> Everything will be fine, miss. No, but I mean, seriously, you know, if you can wear a pair of shorts, sports bra, whatever, um, and get your skin to be able to absorb the sun. What is it doing? Ten though? to fifteen minutes a day. That's what they say. The doctors say it. to do that. Think about it, though. Let's think about it. So, what did you just say? This is because we're getting into water, and now we're getting into the sun. The light. Yep. The light. Right. The light is perfect, coherent white light. That is why it's white. It is a balance of all colors put together to give you white. If your body isn't receiving enough of that light, its crystalline structure is non-coherent. Right. So, when you're asked to absorb it for that fifteen minutes, it's almost like you're taking this energy in as a crystal. Okay. Mm-hmm. absorbing in the body and then rebalancing the frequencies of what make you you as a crystal. You're taking that energy propagated through the medium of what your body is mm. and then you're re-emitting it. That's why you feel so good when you're out in the sun, when you go on vacation, you're like, oh my God, I feel like I'm in a new environment. Right. It's because you're retuning yourself to the light that is actually moving through your body. But it's amazing because you go to like a resort or something like that and, and everybody's happy and everybody's good. It's just because they're vibrating that energy. They're all vibrating that energy. Yeah. And then you're caught up in that atmosphere. Right. Because it's like a bunch of crystals moving at the same tune. It's like, yeah, an, or- like an EDM concert. It's like yeah. an orchestra. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. And then we're all vibing at that same vibe. So that's why it becomes so palpable. It's because, he, he, well, you know, I, I used to go to Seattle Symphony all the time, and I've gone here um, to the symphony several times. Why haven't you taken me? And this is interesting because people will be playing instruments, and it's so perfect, and and then people close their eyes. What are they absorbing? They've they're left, not looking at the music. They've left the physical. They're <laughs> absorbing the non-physical, and mm-hmm. they're letting it change their internal structure, right? Sound before form. That's what the, the, the ancient Vedic scripts talked about in, in India. Sound before form, right? And you're feeling the music. You're feeling the music. And the same thing happens when you're, if you look at the old episode we were talking about last week, Mm -hmm. growing crystals, you can change the growth of a crystal and its quality depending on a frequency of sound you emit into it. So if I'm playing the key of C, 
That is going to change the geometric structure and the quality of how that crystal grows. Yeah, and you can do that um, in your home. Yeah. You can grow crystals. You could put a Bluetooth speaker by it. And just have it blast it. Just yeah. have it blasting. And it will alter you can grow structure. a crystal in like two or three days. So what does that mean? The quality of what I listen to, what I receive, the, the vibration of the things that are around me are going to change the structure of who I am? That's an interesting thought. And everything about your day, what you surround yourself with, is physically changing your crystalline structure. How do you move yourself into that balance? What is the perfect tone for you to operate in? Mm, I love that. These are things that we should focus on on our daily lives. Wouldn't it be interesting to grow a crystal in each of your children's rooms and then grow a crystal in yours and grow a crystal at your work? Ooh. Because you can put it in a mason and jar. And then you can see how the energy differ. Yeah. Wouldn't that be interesting? Yeah. To and see what the sacred geometry patterns would be? I'm kind of jazzed up about that. <laughs> we should grow one here. Or put one, or put, could you put, like, because you can seal it in a mason jar, put it, like, in your dog kennel. Yeah. And see what your dog's growing. See how the dog, not how, what they're growing, but what the dog's feeling. Mm. Then mm. you can visualize the energy of what that dog has yes. going on with it. This is an interesting experiment. Now that we're talking about it, <laughs> we should do something with it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And I bet you if we put it in front of this system right here that runs the radio station. Yes, it would be different. Yep. It would be all muddled and confused because there's so many non-coherent energies trying to work together. Mm -hmm. But if we put it outside in the sun, like next to plants and stuff like that, that should be a beautiful crystal. Yeah, or like a really old tree. Oh, an old tree. Yeah. yeah. Any of the ponderosa pines we have here that smell like oh, butterscotch. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Dude, have you buried your face in a ponderosa pine? Yes. yes. It's oh. amazing. Yeah. It is absolutely lights out. But I, I and we're going to do a whole, just so everybody knows, we talked about this the other night. We're going to do a whole episode, maybe two, on just trees. Trees. <laughs> There's so many of them. Yeah. So many different varieties. Boreal forest They've everywhere. lived longer than we have. Not as long as crystals, but. Not as long as crystals, but they're second to it. Yeah. But and what trees is petrified are, wood? Uh, it's, well, uh, petrified wood, what happens is the. The wood has replaced itself with mineral deposits to then become a crystal. <laughs> so over time, the atomic structure has switched the physical, the organic material with this uh, mineral material, right? So they've, they've swapped places. And for every atom that has been swapped out, creates a piece of petrified wood. So is that something that can happen over time with... With us? <laughs> we don't have to get into that oh on this my episode. God, my brain just exploded. <laughs> because I mean, what do they say? At our the, lifetimes are so short, we don't have a million years to well, do Jason, that. Jason, at the end of the day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> at the end of the day, that's my favorite quote. That's your line, man. <laughs> at the end of the I day. I don't know what mine is because I haven't listened to myself that much, but <laughs> at the end of the day, is definitely yours. No, yeah, last night, I, I didn't say that, I don't think. We did a, and I encourage you, you own a company, uh, Tartle.co. Thank you. Um, and we did a question and answer from people. Tough questions. Uh, we did, yeah, we did a video podcast, like on, a vlog that you have on Tartle. And um, it was interesting when I listened to myself, how many times I say that. I think I did good last night. I don't think, I, I think I was so into the word nefarious. Oh, yeah, you were that it was fine. Somebody used that word. I love that word. But it was resonating with it, you. Yeah, it resonated with me, the oh, word. Yeah. Wait, why is it resonating with you? Crystals resonate, do they not? Mm, yes. Oh, so the. The vibrational thought, the conscious thought of nefarious was resonating with you. Something interesting is going on here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's like, I really like cello music. You're a cello guy. Yeah, I'm a cello guy, yeah. so Like red or green cello. <laughs> we have red and green chili here yeah, in yeah. New Mexico. That's a big thing. If you guys have not tried green chili oh, the hatch. or red chili, oh. oh. You got to have it. Oh, I, I can't eat something without... So I made beans the other night, and I know there's different types of green chili. There's a vegan green chili. Yeah, you have to. It depends on the stock you use. Yeah, really, yeah. and um, you throw some green chili in a crock pot mm. with some beans. Yeah. Next level. That sounds so good. <laughs> so you tell me I'm throwing a bunch of crystals in there that are green and like look like this, and, then yes. I, eat, and I eat these crystals, and they're delicious. Mm -hmm. And uh, go outside, sit on the porch, let some sunlight in. Have to. Yeah, and I, I think that's why it's so important. You know, like whenever I go, when it's e even in the evening, whenever I go for, I'll go for a walk or go for a run and just be outside. That dynamic alone changes my whole physiology. Well, the even if there's no sun, the atmosphere right is crystal. Okay, it's liquid crystal. So, what do we get from the moon? Because I, the moon I noticed sun. I was at the mm. park the other Ooh, night. Oh, that's a good one. Go ahead. And there were people that were running at night because there's like a track that goes around. Right. So let's say people are on a whole different schedule and they can't. What What does the moon like crystal wise receive? What do we get from the moon? Well, the moon is it. It moon gazing is it's very old, right? Yes. And 
Back in that archaic period, people believed that there was an energy that could be received from the moon. So when we're outside with the moon, what it's doing is it's reflecting that white light that comes from the sun, just at a different angle. Right. So you're still receiving that energy just in a different format, right? If it is light, it is something that your eyes are picking up on, you're receiving that frequency. And if you're outside, the trees all day long have been tuned with sunlight, okay? They've been tuned with the atmosphere. They've been tuned with the conscious thoughts. So whether you're outside in the day or you're outside at night, you're receiving some sort of frequency that is moving you back in line with nature. Because it seems like we always go towards, um, it seems like we're always going towards uh, either from an air-conditioned office to an air-conditioned home to an air-conditioned car. And the outdoors is almost, especially if we live in a big city, the outdoors Mm. is almost non-existent. Or we may go out like once a month, really. I mean, the only time we go out is walking from our door to our car. Right. A man, a, a man, can I cut you off? No, no, go ahead. A man and I have found that it makes us very agitated having the air conditioning on. But the moment the windows open, mm-hmm. you know, people might say it's a mental thing, but that air, when it touches my skin, changes how I feel. Or the sunroof. Or, yeah. or the sun or any of those things, right? Mm-hmm. That moment when you're actually out and you're vibing mm-hmm. with nature. You're becoming one with that giant crystal, right? It changes who you are. And I think, let's let's... Talk about some practical things we can do here, right? Okay. And let's go through the list. Our first thing we're going to do is I want you to get outside and I want you to feel the sun soak into your body like it's retuning you. And be grateful for it. And be grateful for it because yeah. that thought is going to change your internal structure. Because the sun is totally selfless. Yes. And gives all of itself. It doesn't care if you're a good or a bad person. It's just going to emit sunlight. Mm-hmm. It does not care. Right. It's completely indifferent. It is the sun being the sun and it will give indefinitely forever until it blows up. Right. Okay. That's the first thing. So get outside and let the atmosphere, the plants, the energy, the sun, everything around you, let it feel like it retuning your body. And think about your interaction. That'll be that'll be the first thing we want to do, okay? And then here's the second step, right? Second one is water. When you go to drink water, I want you to be very conscious about it when you take it in. Thank it for what it is and how its effect it's going to be on the body, Okay. And I think that's the second takeaway we can do from this episode is treating water with a different respect. And the third thing is to look at the world, the mineral kingdom, our rocks as living beings. Challenge yourself, strain your perspective Mm -hmm. to let go of the old ways ways of thought and look at the slow growing things around you as living things, not non-living things. And see if you can find some sort of association or connection or feeling with those. So get outside, drink water, be thankful for it. Yes. Food. Yeah. What, what do we do with our food? Food. Have good intent when you're working with that food. Thank it for what it is, not for how you received it or where it came right. from or the labor that went into it. The food doesn't care about your ego. Okay? <laughs> That's not important. But again, right. we're about fixing ourselves internally. So that thankfulness will change your resonant frequency, the structure within right. yourself, and it will also increase the structure, the, the frequency, the vibration of that food to match what you intake. So our partner, our family, the people around us, how do we do that? Look at them, forgive them, and accept them for who they are. Do not judge them. Do not have an ill thought. Do whatever you can for the next five days after listening to this to only have positive thoughts because they are going to absorb it whether or not you say it vocally out of your mouth. And it's the same if you're at work. Same thing. It's the same you're dealing with beings. Conscious thoughts. Right. Receive, store, and transmit. We are crystals. Everything is a crystal. That's what it will do. So your thoughts, do whatever you can to have those positive, higher density thoughts. I love that. And let me ask you this, because I I know we're going to close soon. We have to go to a meeting. Yeah. um, Fancy. Yeah. For higher density living. Bow ties. Yeah. Yeah. So (laughs) bow ties. So what is the vision of humanity if we're operating properly as crystals? What would you see humanity being like? You would realize that our thoughts would change. Mm-hmm. The way we treat one another. Not only how we treat one another, how we treat the earth. Because if we understand that connectedness, that shared the thoughts, how it's stored and how it affects us on these levels unseen that we can't see necessarily with the physical eye, our actions, our choices we would make would be a hell of a lot more holistic, altruistic, giving, connected, not disconnected. There would be a higher sense of life between all of us, right? Instead of the things that individuate us, we begin to see that there's more that connects us. 
We'd become less of a disparate group, but more of a unified group. We would begin to match what our consciousness does in the physical realm. And that's what's important. is taking the physical and matching it with everything that nature does in the unseen. And becoming crystalline, right? Finding that coherence within ourselves is going to change all of our outlooks and everything we do into the future, right? It will have the most positive outcome. And there's never anything bad that happens from good thoughts. Mm-hmm. Exactly. When's the last time a bad thing happened from someone thinking good thoughts? Mm-hmm. You know? Only good energy can come from that. And if we were all propagating good thoughts through the medium of ourselves in this earth, that will only amplify and magnify all the beauty and the joy and the good feelings that we all love feeling to a sense of bliss and extreme that we have never felt before in our entire lives. And we call all these like the animal kingdom, the mineral kingdom, all these kingdoms, how would they be vibrating? How would that, how would that work? We would all elevate ourselves in vibration. So rather than being muddled and non-coherent and lack that beautiful light, that rainbow of light, we would all feel and see that entire spectrum. All the plants, everything would thrive. The crystalline structure of this earth would begin to thrive in a way that we didn't even notice right now. But as we change our habits and our thoughts and how we think of things, everything would begin to flourish. So the problems that we have in humanity now they would, would disappear be if we yeah. became more crystalline. Mm. And that's an interesting concept, right? If we become more coherent in understanding and accepting of ourselves, means you can then forgive, accept, and understand others. And realize that there was no difference between any of us. I love that. Well, thanks, Alex. Appreciate it. This is an awesome podcast. I encourage people, if you haven't heard the first one, Please listen, subscribe. Yeah, please listen and subscribe. You can go on our YouTube channel, Higher Density Living. Uh, you can also go on Instagram, our Instagram. Facebook. Facebook. Twitter is HI Density Living. Right. Make sure, but we're going to put all our videos on there. We do videos throughout the week. That's right. Uh, like 10-minute videos where we talk about certain topics. We're going to be doing one. We talked about this last episode, but we're and I think it's going to resonate with a lot of people. You have two dogs. Oh, they're, they're both great. rescue dogs, right? Oh, they're fantastic, yeah. <laughs> and so I want to do, we had talked about this the other day about us doing a video about like what dogs are thinking, vibrating in a higher conscious, where, how where they're connected they're to us. Yeah, how they connect to us as humans. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be doing that pretty soon and we'll put that out on social media. But um, please subscribe, please share this. Um, you can screenshot our podcast, Big screenshot. Um, Just dump it in your story or something. And put, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And again, it's learn, teach, teach, learn, right? Mm-hmm. That's what we're doing. All we're not forcing it down anyone's throat. Take what you want from this. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And run with it like the wind. Exactly. And our website, www.higherdensityliving.com. Booyah. And that's evolving and growing. And we're learning and teaching with that site. Like we are. We evolve at the same <laughs> yes. rate it does. Exactly. Um, so thanks, Alex. Appreciate it. And I hope that we'll be here next week. We will be here. Yeah, we will be here. Unless something crazy happens to us. <laughs> you know? Unless there's a lower density. Yeah, and something so, Nuke. Yeah, and something unless something really low density happens to us. We're here. Yeah, we'll still be here. You That's know? cool. Awesome. Well thank you guys. I appreciate you guys listening, taking the time. We really respect that. Yeah. That they would take time out of the day, whether they're working out, whether they're going to work. Um, you know, got the headphones in. Um and we our whole goal is that we want you to be able to not and it's so cliche and I don't like to use the words better yourself. What would be like a better terminology for that? And we'll end in this. Just resonate higher, mm. right? Because when you resonate, we all resonate. Mm-hmm. Vibe higher. Vibe higher. I like We're that. gonna vibe yeah, higher. We need T-shirts. Vibe higher. Vibe higher. That's <laughs> cool, huh? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm into that. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And live your life on the edge of two worlds. Where you find true understanding of who you are. The learning is done. Become the teacher in embodying the oneness of all. Walk the cliff's edge between the seen and the unseen realities. Become a higher density being. Please go to www.higherdensityliving.com.com.